welcome to Colleen's Corner, where every Tuesday I answer your questions. I haven't done a Colleen's Corner in two weeks and I'm so excited. Yes, I'm aware that my hair looks um, absolutely insane. Since my hair is 80s-tastic today, I figure I would celebrate that. <laughs> episode of Colleen's Corner because one, it's Glozell Green's birthday today, so make sure to go wish her a happy birthday on Twitter. She's one of my best friends in the whole world and I adore her. Happy birthday, Glozell! I dedicate this video to you! Number two, this is my 300th... Is that how you say that? This is my 300th video. 300. That's, that cannot be a word. That sounds crazy. And I just hit 200,000 subscribers, which is so cool. So thank you to subscribing. Thank you to subscribing is what I just said. So there you go. All right, let's get started. James CC said, do you tend to do any collabs as Colleen? I've been collabing a lot um, on the Miranda channel lately. I would love to do collabs as myself, but people usually want to collab with Miranda. Miranda's way cooler than me. She's prettier than me more talented. So if people want to collab with me, it's usually with this beautiful lady. In case you guys are wondering, uh, I know this girl. It's one of my favorite pictures of all time, so it's being featured today. Don't worry, she is now like the most beautiful girl on the planet. Ah! It took her a little while to blossom. I love you, Heather, if you're watching. Jeffrey said, why don't you record Colleen's Corner in an actual corner? This is false advertising. Um, excuse me, what do you think this is? This is a corner. This is a corner desk, and this is the corner of a room. I don't know how else I can prove that that is a corner, but this is a corner. This is the corner of a room. So what do you mean? You are incorrect. MM16Strings said, what was your first singing performance ever? My very first singing performance was at a church. I think I was five. There's a video of me doing it actually on the internet. Um, I'll show you some of it. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can just click somewhere and watch it. My mom told me she'd get me a Barbie if I did it, and she bribed me to, to sing at church. And so I did it, and I got a Barbie. Jackie No Skins asks, what's your worst period story? I have the worst period story on the planet. So if you're grossed out easily, first of all, why are you watching my videos? Because all I do is talk about poop. Turn off the video because you won't want to hear the story. It's pretty disgusting. I cannot believe I'm going to admit this on video. This is the worst, most embarrassing story on the planet. Josh planned a very romantic, nice dinner date for us once. We usually eat at like Taco Bell, so for us to go out to a fancy restaurant is a really big deal. So I got all dressed up and I was wearing this cute little dress. It was one of those dresses where like, if you wore underwear, you could see the panty lines and that is just horrifying. So I didn't wear underwear. Scandalous. All right, so we went to dinner. Dinner was delicious, really fancy. And all of a sudden I was like, my stomach kind of hurts. So I get up thinking nothing's wrong, go to the bathroom. Lo and behold, Miss Flo came to visit my lady bits and I was not wearing underwear. Luckily I was wearing a black dress, so like you couldn't really see it, but it was totally on my dress. So I ran out to Josh and I was like, we have to go right now. My period just started and it's everywhere. And he was like, okay, we'll just sit down and we'll just finish the normal bath. So I go and I sit down and noticed that I had been sitting on a beautiful white cushioned couch, which now had red stains all over it at this really, really nice, like five-star restaurant. And I was like, nope, we have to go now. We have to go right now. I was super embarrassing and we never told them obviously what happened. We just put a napkin over it and left, but we can never step foot back in that restaurant again because they totally knew it was me. There you go, internet. Just laying it out there for you. Mel asked, what is your advice on helping friends who are sad but don't feel comfortable telling you what's wrong? Ta, X -X. If someone walks in the room and is clearly upset about something, do they want you to be like, oh, what's wrong? Come here, I'll give you a hug. Talk to me about it so I can tell my friends. They don't want that. What they do want is they walk in the room and you go, hey, I made you a cake. Who doesn't want that? That is the solution to this problem. You don't need to know your friend's problems. If they don't feel comfortable telling you about it, then don't pressure them. Just make them smile by giving them a cake or by doing a dance. 
there you go. That's my episode today for Colleen's Corner. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure you subscribe. I post videos every Tuesday and Friday. Dun 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 dun. dun. And I'm going to VidCon. So um, if you want to meet me at VidCon, you should do that. Oh, see you later. Thanks for watching. Uh,